Sarah Rushman, better known as Marrow, is a fictional character from the world of Marvel Comics. Her abilities consist of expanding and reshaping her bones as well as being able to change the density of her skeleton. She fought heroes such as the X-Men as well as characters such as Cable. She has Boomerang and Towering Spine. And according to Jules Marvel 2 tier list, she's currently ranked as the 11th character in C tier. But even with her placement in the tier list, what is it that makes Meryl a dangerous mutant? To understand this question, we need to watch today's episode of Dad and Kids Play One. What's good, everybody? I'm Dad from Dad and Kids Play One, and this is Meryl Move List from Marvel vs. Capcom 2. We're going to go over all Meryl moves and discuss tips and strategies to help you learn to play the character better. Also, if you like these type of videos, then consider giving it a like and maybe a subscribe. Thanks. Before we cover the special moves, first let us take a look at the basic attacks. Okay, starting off this list is the Boomerang. This move is Meryl's projectile attack. To do this move, do a quarter circle forward plus any punch button. The Boomerang is a projectile attack, but it's not typical. It has great range, but it's not full screen. In fact, the Light Punch version and Fierce Punch variations have the same range. The only difference here is that the Fierce Punch version final position is a bit higher. Also, they both score for 3 hits. The Boomerang can be thrown in midair, with the Fierce Punch version being tossed downwards at an angle. Please keep in mind that a boomerang will pass through opponents as long as it's moving. It's possible to hit enemies into the attack before it disappears. Up next is the attack called the Towering Spine. This move is Marrow's anti-air. To do the attack, do a drag punch motion plus any punch button. Good. This move has great area effect, so anyone above Meryl while she's doing this will most likely sustain damage. This move has a slight delay on startup, so that means it isn't combo friendly. The Towering Spine scores for 5 hits with little to no difference between the Light Punch and Fierce Punch variations. This move can only be executed from the ground. The Ride and Slash is Marrow's Command Grab. To do the move, do a half circle back plus any punch button. This move has fast startup time, but you would need to be at a proper distance to finish the attack. The Light Punch Ride and Slash has more of a vertical range, while the Fierce Punch Variation has less height but travels further. 
This move can be done in midair as well. Also, the ride and slash is much like Cammy's hooligan combo and use it to mix up the opponent and keep them guessing. As with any other move, do not overuse the attack or the opponent will catch on to what you're doing. This move is like a defensive counter attack. To do the ricochet slash, do a quarter circle back plus any kick button. Meryl would jump backwards towards the wall, then dive forward towards the enemy for a three hit attack. Now this move isn't combo friendly, but it is possible to combo with it while using an assist. Perhaps the greatest feature this move has is the fact that it looks like Meryl is simply jumping backwards at the start of it. Use this to trick opponents and to catch them off guard. The ricochet slash can only be done from the ground. Maru has two normal throws, press forward and fierce punch to execute her fierce punch throw. Press forward and fierce punch in midair for an aerial fierce punch throw. To wall jump, jump towards the wall, then press the opposite direction. You can even wall jump from a super jump. To do a double jump, press up, up back, or up forwards after jumping. Meryl has one launcher in the game. Press down plus first punch for the standard launcher. You can do Meryl's taunt by pressing the select button. Alternatively, hold the light kick then press start if you're playing the Dreamcast version. So the first hyper I would like to cover is called the Stinger Bones. This is the move where Meryl will form huge spikes made out of bones to attack the opponent. To do the move, do a quarter circle forward plus both punch buttons. This move has full screen range, although it does more damage the closer you are to the enemy. The single bones can be comboed into but it's not as combo friendly as the bone burst hyper. When the single bones hit the opponent cleanly it scores for 8 hits. The second hyper combo in the list is called Bone Burst. This is where Meryl will assault the enemy with a spread shot with shards of bones. To do the attack, do a quarter circle back plus both punch buttons. This hyper is more combo friendly than Stinger Bones and ideally, you want to do this at the end of aerial combos. Let's see if I can. Yeah. 
So when doing this as a standalone attack, it doesn't do as much damage as the single bones. So its damage potential relies on ending combos with it. There you go. Here's what to expect when you use Marrow as an assist character. Marrow's alpha assist will do a fierce punch boomerang. Her beta assist will use a fierce punch towering spine. And her gamma assist will perform a fierce kick ricochet slash. Of all, Meryl is a rushdown character. You have to rely on her speed and movements to mix up the opponents and to help score the win. She has a good projectile and remember that it's possible to push the enemy into the boomerang as long as the attack is on screen. But just like with most speed type characters, she suffers in the defense department. She takes 18% more damage than normal so please keep that in mind. Also, Marrow has low priority over most of her attacks, meaning that most of the cast of Marvel 2 will cancel out her moves if they were to strike at the same time. Well, with that being said, here are some tips to help out your gameplay with Marrow. Use Marrow's speed and movement to overwhelm the enemy. Also, the boomerang adds to her cross-up game. Speaking of the boomerang, use it to lock down opponents and for chipping damage. The best hyper to use as a solo combo finisher is the bone burst. Also, this hyper should be done at the end of an aerial combo. Maru has excellent air mobility. Use the double jump in tandem with the wall jump. Also, don't forget you have access to the boomerang and ride and slash in midair. Whenever using Maru as an assist, make sure to use the alpha one, which is the fierce punch boomerang. Well, that's it for this week's installment. And like I said before, please let me know in the comment section who you would like to see me cover next in the Marvel and Capcom series. I'm Dad Mishima from Dad and Kids Play One. Hope you all have a wonderful day and we'll see you next game. Peace out.